Now to our top story this hour, police are searching for a shooting suspect that put several families at risk in a Currents Park last night. News specialist Kara Bracken joins us live. And Kara, you're hearing from someone who lives near the park and was in the area when this happened. Yeah, that's right. We're hearing from a man this morning who said that he had walked over last night from his home right here to the park, had been walking his dogs to play fetch with them, and he left the park just about five minutes before those shots rang out. Yeah, I just use the street and just walk and, and take a turn, a left turn here, and it leads me to the park. Just a short walk away, Vin Nguyen started over to squeeze in a game of fetch. Uh, I was there from 7, 725, 730. With the sun going down, he decided to head on home. A good thing, as police say, around 830 or when the shots rang out. I, I didn't want to stay until 9, luckily. I miss it just by a pinch. Police say sometime during that exchange between the two groups, someone pulled out a gun, then began shooting at someone else. Police say the victim was shot several times, including grazes to the face, to the shoulder, and to the cheek. In the event of that person initially shooting, uh, another person from that party pulled out a weapon and began returning fire on that individual. The shooting suspect, described as a 5'6 or 5'7 man wearing a white t-shirt, light blue pants with a gray or white hat, ran away. Gwen says the park was busy last night with families and kids around. People just come, in, come there to play and just to have a good time. We're fortunate that only one individual is injured, but still not anything any family member wants to see their relative go to when they're here at an event trying to celebrate something and this happens. Gwen says this isn't the first kind of activity he's heard about in the area. Usually there's, you know, every night, uh, every weekend night pretty much, there's always alarm. Hey, have you heard of this gunshot? Have you heard of this noise? And, uh, you know, kind of put a question on, in, in my head that, hey, is this area truly safe? Likely he won't be back at this park anytime soon. Scary. I, this, I don't think I want to go there right now if I, this happens like this. Uh, definitely, if I, I could have got shot. Now, last check, police do say that they are still looking for that shooter suspect. They're asking people, especially in this area that live nearby, to check their ring doorbells, check any kind of video surveillance, and see if anything is matching up with that description or anything else that looks suspicious, and to give them a ring. For now, they're reporting live. I'm Kara Bracken. Back to you. Kara, glad nobody was hurt there. Thank you.